Hey guys, Kildare here, and today we'll be looking at Falstad, one of my personal favorite heroes to play. Before we get into his build, let's have a look at his moves and strategies. His Q is Hammerang. Throws out a hammer in a straight line that returns to you, dealing damage and slowing enemies in its path by 25%. This move on its own is fairly mediocre, however the talents available to you throughout the tree can make it a powerhouse. Landing it on enemies will take some practice and it is a pretty thin skill shot, however I would not recommend spamming it as it is core to winning fights. His W is Lightning Rod. Deals damage to an enemy, then persistent damage to the enemy if they stay within range for 4 seconds. This move is really good when you know you are in a solid engagement. This move will help out damage your enemy when they think they can take you on. I would not recommend it for chasing unless you are already close to your enemy or they have no escapes. It has a long cooldown so use it very sparingly and try not to pop it straight away as some more intelligent enemies will just cut you out of its range and then re-engage you and win. His E is Barrel Roll. Dash in a direction and gain a small shield for a short period of time. This is Falstad's only escape and I would only recommend using it to escape 90% of the time. There will be situations where it is appropriate to use this to close the gap which is fine but always remember that Falstad is a very low health hero and I have seen many, many players use this purely to gap close since they think it should be used this way due to the shield and die. The way I see it, the shield should prevent you from dying from dots while you are escaping, not to protect you when you dive in. Falstad's first heroic ability, which is your R, is Hinterland Blast. After a short delay, deal a large amount of damage in a line. This move is really fun to use in teamfights, it's particularly useful on maps with big jungles like Cursed Hollow. Try not to use it on one enemy and try to make sure that the enemies are either slowed or in a narrow passageway so they cannot run out of the damaging line. If the enemy is at normal running speed, they will have more than enough time to get out of the way as the charge up gives a warning line when you are charging. And his other heroic ability is Mighty Gust, pushes enemies away in a great distance and slows them for 60% over 3 seconds. This move is pretty underrated and both heroics are very good, I personally think this one will probably help you out more in open maps. This move can be used both defensively and offensively, for example defensively you can use it to save yourself from death or your allies. Alternatively you can push the whole team away from an objective at a crucial moment. Using it offensively is really fun, but dangerous. Simply put, you go behind the enemy team and push them into your team, or forts and keeps. This can cause the whole enemy team to panic and die. I'll use this tactic very carefully though, since if the enemy team is better off than your own, you could have just wiped out your own team. Or if they survive, you are directly in their escape route and will probably die. The best part about this heroic ability is that it's incredibly short cooldown. I feel free to use it heaps to save your own life and your allies. Falstad's trait is Tailwind. Gain 20% increased movement speed if you don't take any damage for more than 6 seconds. This trait is not overly great but still helpful. It would be rare in teamfights if you could maintain this buff throughout the fight, but since Falstad has no mount, it helps serve as a way to get him from point A to B, also escape after using Mighty Gust. And lastly we have a Z, which allows Falstad to fly across the battleground. This move is very powerful for any Falstad and is incredibly useful. It can be used to help doom the enemy team with Mighty Gust. It also means you can split push for longer should a fight break out and you, you can help your team nearly instantly. At the start of a game it gives Falstad nearly zero downtime if he is injured. He can simply hearth back, fully heal and fly back to his lane nearly instantly. Be sure to use this move carefully of course, don't fly too close to the enemy as they can see where you are going to land, and once again I have seen many players die due to this. Always position him in a safe area even for team fights, as you are flying the whole team could backfire and get pushed back and suddenly you are on the front line and die. For tier 1 I recommend a seasoned Marskman. Faustai can do some really amazing auto attack damage with all of his moves stacked up, and more times than you think it will shock the enemy. This talent is very crucial to Falstad and I would not recommend any other option on this tier. For tier 2 I recommend Vampiric Assault. Not everyone would agree with me with this one, but it really helps your survival more than you think. The stacking damage you get from Season Marksman will also help this move excel a little bit further, but not by much. 
However, if you find yourself in a team with a lot of trusted supports, then I would recommend Power Throw. This will make your Hammer Rang just a little bit better and will help make a very next talent choice overpowered. For Tier 3, I always go with Secret Weapon, hands down. This talent is one of the core aspects of Falstat and complements all the previous talent choices and future ones. This literally is Falstad's secret weapon and will decimate your enemies surprisingly quickly. Always make sure when you throw out your hammer rang that you are in position to auto attack and are close enough, as you need to make the most of each second the hammer is in flight. For tier 4 it is up to each individual person. I personally switch between two heroic abilities depending how I feel would help me in each game. Tier 5 I normally go for giant killer. Even if there is only one tank on the enemy team, it's still worth picking, since it enhances your auto attacks even more. However, if you do not feel like you need it, then I would recommend picking up Crippling Hammer, which helps secure kills for yourself and help you escape should worst come to worst. For tier 6, I always go with Hammer Time. The short stun that is applied helps you secure even more auto attacks while you are at your peak of damage. Also, if you have Hinterland Blast, you can throw out the hammer, auto attack once for the stun, and then fire your heroic ability, which is pretty much secures the damage that will be applied. I would not always recommend this tactic for single targets, since if you just auto attack for the same amount of time, you'd probably do more or the same amount of damage as Hinterland Blast. The debuff on the enemy lasts for about 2 seconds, so if you kill your first target quickly enough, you can then stun the second enemy. I would not recommend trying to auto attack the entire enemy team once just for the stun. You do much more damage just focusing on the one target and killing it. And lastly, for tier 7, I would always recommend Nexus Frenzy. This move is pretty much asking to be picked with this build and makes Falstad an absolute terror at level 20. Not only can he attack quicker, but he can also attack slightly farther away in relative safety. As you can see, each choice in this build complements each other very, very nicely, and if played right, makes Falstad very scary to verse on the battleground, especially with the support Medic or Uther. Well guys, thanks for watching. Always remember, there is no one perfect build out there, and I always encourage you guys to go out and make your own builds and play with what's comfortable for you. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and let me know what you thought, or your own build. So if you haven't subscribed, give it a shot, and you might like what I have to offer. Have a good one.